Welcome everybody and here is a detailed analysis of the micro expressions and nonverbal communication that you can see featured in the Impact trailer. Let's begin in the beginning. What you see first is surprise. Surprise is shown by the eyebrows going upwards. It's different from fear because in fear the eyebrows are more stressed and the forehead is more stressed. This is surprise because only the eyebrows go up in a very nice, round, pretty relaxed way. So it's just surprise here. After surprise, you see that the eyelids narrow. I'm moving back and forth right now to show you in detail how the eyelids narrow, the eyes become more narrower, and this is a sign of concentration. Be careful to not confuse this with a sign of anger. This is just subtle concentration because of the subtle movements of the eyelids. If the eyebrows would be going also lower in a stronger way, it would be anger. But in this case, it's just concentration. Then sweating is pretty obvious. I really like this little drop falling from his forehead. It goes really fast, but if you put it in slow motion, it's really nice like you see it here. So this is really genuine stress. This kind of nonverbal signs are really difficult to, you know, to change because when you're sweating, you're just sweating, right? You can't keep it under control. So be aware of things like swallowing and sweating and elements that cannot be controlled by your conscious thinking because these are very reliable signs of what somebody truly feels. And that's also why we focus on micro expressions because they're very short, half seconds or shorter, and they're controlled by the unconscious parts of the brain. Now, in the next part, you see this. You see that his steps are hesitating. How do you see that they're hesitating? Well, this movement of the feet, you see, it's it's not a firm, strong movement like going forward, I know where to go. No, it's, it's, it's hesitating, it's unsure. So we see that the speaker is stressed. This kind of movement with the hands, that's uh, creating a barrier, protective. And here you see our main character closing his eyes. He's standing in front of a public and instead of watching them and being happy, he's closing his eyes, he's avoiding what's happening. And that's also a useful sign to keep in mind. You, you might think like people don't do this when they do presentations. Well, actually they do. So body language and nonverbal communication is very useful to watch. Uh, to see if somebody makes a good impact or not. People think that they don't move with their body, uh, but when you record it on video, then really they see some strange things happening. Some other strange things happening, for example, are motor tics. These are like little movements that you cannot control. See, I'm going back and forth here on this motor tick. It's a very subtle movement. You can't do this consciously, but it happens when you're under high stress. The same happens here with the mouth. You see his mouth moving. You might think this is contempt. Well, not really, because it's shaking, right? So because of the shaking, it's, it's rather a motor tick, something that he cannot keep under control because of the high stress that the speaker is in at this moment. Let's see what happens further in the trailer. It's a really cool trailer uh, where we have been able to zoom in in 4K on the tiny movements like this. Here you see the lips being stretched and slightly downward in a stressed way. So if the lips would go downward, and especially if the chin would go downward in a relaxed way, it would be surprise. Here it's not surprise, it's fear because of the stress that you see in the lips. The lips are not relaxed. And that's why this is fear. It's still very supple, but it's very clear that he's under a lot of fear in front of the public. One of the movements that I spoke about earlier that you cannot control is uh, swallowing. 
especially increased swallowing when you have just a dry mouth, it's, it becomes more harder not to swallow more often. And this is what happens here. Our speaker swallows more than normal, more than regular, and this is a sign of stress. Let's see what happens further, what happens later on, and what other movements we can identify. What happens here? This is a useful, useful movement to do when you're meeting somebody, is um, touching their shoulder, making a connection with their upper arm, so between the elbow and their shoulder, somewhere there. It's, it's a friendly touch and it helps to create a good connection. Let's see what happens next in this trailer of impact. This movement here, I'm going back and forth. It's, it's not shaking, you know, it's, it's just one movement that I'm playing back and forth. That's contempt. It's a feeling of superiority and it's characterized by one lip corner going upwards. If you see this happening by itself, just one lip corner or during a smile, one of the lip corners going higher than the other one, that's a feeling of contempt. Somebody is feeling superior than somebody else. And that's why I say here in this trailer that he's chasing his audience away because for the audience, this is subconsciously a movement that they don't want to see. Who wants to see that the speaker is more superior than them? You know, subconsciously, it's not a good sign. Another movement that it's difficult to keep under control is um, trembling hands, moving fingers due to stress. That's what happens here. And this pressing lips here, that's anger. You see this movement here? This is controlling anger. Pressed lips. Another sign to watch during your negotiations or your business meetings or during presentations. It gives um, a lot of information away, just like many other body language movements. And that's why they are so reliable for going further in your negotiation, going deeper in any conversation or making a bigger impact because it's very useful. Another useful element here, surprise, you saw it also in the beginning. This is another variation, eyebrows going upward in a nice relaxed fashion. Then let's see what happens here. Very useful during any meeting is keeping an eye on both lip corners going upward because this is a small sign of happiness. It's not a big smile, no, but it gives you information that the person is happy about what they hear or see when you see the both lip corners going upward in this way in half a second or shorter because then that's a micro expression and those are very reliable to know how somebody really, really feels on the inside. An interesting movement here that's useful to pay attention to when meeting people, a strong handshake, like happens here. It gives the sign of confidence. If you want to make an impact, start with a strong handshake. Another element that you can see here is leaning forward. So here the lady leans forward. She's really interested. If you see your client doing this while you present your advantages of your product or service, it's a really good sign. And then let's have a look at the last one, I think. Let me fast forward a little bit. I'm really very happy about this trailer. We enjoyed very much making this and we're looking forward to this film very much because it will change many lives. This is an obvious one, touching the face, being nervous. We noticed that, well, we train many people giving presentations and we noticed that they, they know that they don't have to touch their face, but it just itches so much that they need to. 
when they're stressed. So you need to start from the inside out. These signs that you saw here are just like a stethoscope. They give you information, just like the stethoscope gives information to the doctor. The stethoscope won't heal you. You need some pills or you need medicine, you need something else. The same with body language. You need to change your mindset. And when you change your mindset, then the micro expressions and body language will change on the outside. And those movements will automatically disappear, just like I say to Richard and the trailer. Well, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching these micro expressions and nonverbal communication movements from so close originally filmed in 4K, and I'm looking forward to have you part of the Impact campaign. Just go to impact.film to support our journey and our mission. Thanks very much for being here today. Bye-bye.